Hello and welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create a bootable Linux Mint Debian Edition USB drive. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to Microsoft Edge. Now Linux Mint Debian Edition is Linux Mint but instead of using Ubuntu as its base it uses Debian as its base. So open a web browser and go to linuxmint.com forward slash download underscore lmde.php and you'll get to this web page here and the latest version is lmde6 and nicknamed Fay. so all we have to do is click on this download button here and then if you scroll down you should find the country closest to you and click on the link and Linux Mint Debian Edition will start downloading in the top right corner. So whilst that's downloading, we now need a tool to create the USB drive and I thought we'd try something different today. Um, I quite often use Etcher, but people have been telling me that to use Rufus. Now I have used Rufus in the past. Uh, Etcher is my preference generally because it's multi-platform. It works on Linux and Windows. But we're going to go to rufus.ie forward slash downloads. And there's multiple versions available. You can download this one here. There's a portable version, an ARM version, 32-bit version. But we're just going to go for this one here. And you can see that's downloaded. So now what we're going to do is we're going to close this down. Now with both those files downloaded, insert a blank USB drive or a USB drive that you don't care about the data on because it will be wiped and then open Windows Explorer. I've already done that and go to the downloads folder. Double click on Rufus. Answer yes uh, to making changes to your device. And then you'll see the device it should automatically pick up your USB drive. If it isn't, make sure this is the correct drive that you've inserted and not one of your hard drives because it will be overwritten. Then we're going to click the select button here and we're going to choose the LMDE that we downloaded previously. Now at this point you can set persistence and this might work for some distributions uh, such as Ubuntu and Debian. It doesn't work for Linux Mint Debian Edition. I've tried this previously and it doesn't work. Uh, but essentially if you put a persistent partition on there, uh, what happens is when you run from a live USB, you can install applications and files to that USB. And when you reboot those files, we will be persistent for the next time that you run. But I, I'm pretty sure this doesn't work for Linux Mint Debian Edition. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to choose your partition scheme. You can leave that as MBR and you can leave that as BIOS or UEFI. Now the label you can leave the same, the file system you can leave the same and all you're going to do is click start. We're going to leave the recommended option in ISO image mode and we're going to click OK. All data on the device will be destroyed as I mentioned earlier. If you're happy to continue, click OK. And now it will start creating the file system and writing the files to the drive. And you can see it started copying the ISO file across to the drive. Now it's worth noting that if you've got any data on the drive, it will format it first. So you might see extra messages on there first. Um, personally, I formatted the drive before I inserted it. But uh, yeah, you can see it's copying now. Okay, so now the USB drive has completed uh, its creation and we can reboot the computer and whichever computer you're putting the USB drive into you will need to press the relevant function key before it boots into Windows uh, to bring up the boot menu so as it the screen pops up you press the relevant function key in my case it's F7 and then you get into the boot menu and I'll, I'll show you this process now so here we are at the screen and I'm going to hit the F7 button you can see I've done that and now it's entering the boot menu and now at this screen, I'm just going to pick the USB drive. I've only got one in. And now you can see it says start LMD64. So we're going to do that. And it's now going to boot into LMDE. And that is it. We are in Linux Mint Debian Edition live version. Now, if you install any software on here and reboot, then that software won't be there next time you reboot because a live image doesn't keep the data um, that you've saved on it it's just a live image it just runs in memory 
if you want to have a saved image then you're going to have to install the Linux Mint to your hard drive uh, but that is for another guide so for today um, thank you for watching I hope you've learned how to install Linux Mint Debian Edition as a live image and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.